A cordial greeting. Today is Tuesday, September 16, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In today's video, I will be giving an update on Invest 92, which already has a 90% probability of development during the next 48 hours, and it is very likely to strengthen into Tropical Storm Gabrielle as it moves toward the northwest. For the moment, it should remain away from the Caribbean region, but eventually it may be of interest to the island of Bermuda. Meanwhile, we are also keeping an eye on the tropical wave I mentioned to you yesterday, which would likely be marked by the National Hurricane Center, and during the early morning hours the National Hurricane Center gave it a low probability of cyclonic development over the next seven days as it moves across the tropical Atlantic. And I will also talk about another tropical wave that will emerge in about three to four days, which could also have chances of development. And briefly, I wanted to mention that there is a strong tropical wave moving just northeast of the Caribbean, which is being influenced by a trough and helping it to generate strong thunderstorms and a rather important area of convection during this afternoon. However, the wind shear from the trough will prevent it from achieving cyclonic organization at least during the next few days, as it moves very near or over the northeast of the Lesser Antilles Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. In the medium term, we will be watching to see if when it reaches the Bahamas region it encounters more favorable conditions for perhaps some type of cyclonic development. For the moment, it has not been marked by the National Hurricane Center, and any probability of development is extremely low at this time. So, after three weeks without cyclonic activity in the middle of the peak of the season, the Atlantic is beginning to activate just as we had projected, and this active period may extend into early October. And you can see that the area of possible development of Invest 92 remains away from the Caribbean region, while the second tropical wave could find marginally favorable conditions as it moves westward. Let's talk a little about the forecast for Invest 92, and you can see that according to projections from specialized track models, it should maintain that northwestward movement during the next five to seven days, passing far from the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. In the longer term it could pass very near or just to the east of the island of Bermuda, for which interests in this area should continue to monitor its evolution. Even more so since the specialized intensity models in the long term show that it could strengthen into a hurricane, and some of them forecast a major hurricane between Category 3 and Category 4 in about 5 to 7 days. And although it is very preliminary to establish what effects, if any, it may bring to Bermuda, it is definitely important that they remain alert to the evolution of this future cyclone. And if we move to the areas off Africa, we can see the tropical wave that has a 20% probability of development, which, although it currently lacks a large area of convection, does have a fairly defined circulation, and we will be watching to see how it evolves as it moves across the tropical Atlantic. And we also have other tropical waves that will emerge from Africa during the coming days and weeks, and with a favorable phase of the Madden-Julian oscillation, there is the possibility that we may have other candidates for tropical cyclone development. At least the good news is that, with the exception of Bermuda, these disturbances of interest seem likely to take a track toward the west-northwest and remain away from the Caribbean. At least that is what model projections show us. And for example, let's look at the ensemble members of the American model. You can see that all the members maintain that track far from the Caribbean, and some of them strengthen the disturbance into possibly a hurricane by early next week. In addition, it shows two strong tropical waves with probabilities of development in the tropical Atlantic. However, notice that this tropical wave, which is the one marked with a 20% probability of development, according to the American Model Ensemble, should remain fairly weak during the next few days. However, the tropical wave that is still over Africa could find better conditions for cyclonic development, but with a little luck it might turn northwestward and gain latitude fairly quickly. And these projections match the ensemble members of the European model, with Invest 92 strengthening into a tropical storm and hurricane as it moves over the central Atlantic. In this case, the majority of members keep a track to the east of Bermuda, while the next tropical wave is kept fairly weak as it approaches the Caribbean. And the next tropical wave that will emerge from Africa, some members develop it into a tropical depression or tropical storm in about seven days. The ensemble of the Google Artificial Intelligence model also maintains that track of the future tropical storm and Hurricane Gabrielle over the waters of the North Atlantic, not approaching the Caribbean and also staying to the east of Bermuda. And while it does not develop the next tropical wave, in the long term it does show development of the tropical wave still over Africa. This means there is considerable consensus that Invest 92 should strengthen into a tropical storm and hurricane, but fortunately passing far from the Caribbean, while the next tropical wave should remain fairly weak as it moves westward although we will be monitoring its progress in case changes occur in the projections. The reality is that if Invest 92 strengthens into a hurricane as it moves over the central Atlantic, it is likely that it will be leaving wind shear that will affect the next tropical wave. 
and this is very likely the reason why the models keep the system fairly weak as it approaches the Caribbean. And the next tropical wave that will emerge from Africa, very preliminarily, also seems that it could take a track gaining latitude fairly quickly. So, for the moment, it's good news for the Caribbean Sea, since with a bit of luck the systems that form could maintain tracks toward the west-northwest without reaching the Caribbean. So, why do we have this outlook in the Atlantic? And for this, I wanted you to see the following image shared by Michael Lowry, where he shows us how the high pressure in the North Atlantic typically is by late August and early September. And it's that during this period, when most cyclonic activity in the Atlantic typically occurs, the chances that systems will travel farther west are quite high, because the Azores and Bermuda high-pressure systems are usually fairly strong. However, when what we are seeing this year happens, just like in 2024, where cyclonic activity in the tropical Atlantic is occurring at the end of September and beginning of October, the Bermuda high-pressure typically weakens and therefore opens the opportunity for systems to take a northwestward track, making it more difficult for them to reach the Caribbean region. So, for the moment, and just like last year, this is reducing the chances of a system approaching the Caribbean. But be careful, this does not mean we are out of danger. It is always important to keep an eye on these tropical waves, especially if they remain fairly weak and manage to reach the Caribbean Sea or the Gulf of Mexico, where they could encounter better conditions for development. Let's now see what the latest runs of the global models show. Let's start with the American model. This afternoon's run develops Tropical Storm Gabrielle in approximately 36 hours and maintains that northwestward movement while strengthening into a powerful hurricane. In this run, the American model projects it passing just east of Bermuda as a Category 3 hurricane during the morning hours of Tuesday, while the next tropical wave is kept weak as it approaches the eastern Caribbean, and it develops another cyclone associated with the next tropical wave that will emerge from Africa. So, it is possible that this tropical wave will also be marked by the National Hurricane Center with probabilities of development in the medium and long term. And the operational models continue with considerable consensus. For example, the European model also has Invest 92, possibly strengthening into Hurricane Gabrielle, but over waters north of the Atlantic, in this case, passing at a safe distance from Bermuda during the night hours of Sunday. In addition, it does not develop the next tropical wave before it reaches the Caribbean, while the next one that will emerge from Africa is kept somewhat stronger in about six to seven days. The same is seen in the projection of the German model and also in the European Artificial Intelligence model, which has Tropical Storm or Hurricane Gabrielle the weak tropical wave reaching the Caribbean, and the next tropical wave emerging from Africa perhaps developing into a tropical depression. So, it is very interesting what is happening in the Atlantic, where, just like last year, we are probably seeing the peak of cyclonic activity quite late in the season, but at least the good news is that at the moment there is no threat of direct impact for the Caribbean region, the United States, Mexico, or Central America. Even so, we will be attentive to any changes that may occur in the projections, but for the moment everything is calm. It is important to emphasize that interests in Bermuda should stay alert to Invest 92. Well, that's all for the update on this forecast. Before I go, I wanted to invite you to give this video a like or thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so that you receive notifications when I record new videos. I hope you all have an excellent day. See you later.